I think the most surprising thing in the earliest days of this project was how little anyone seemed to really know or understand. Even though first responders at all levels were in almost crisis mode trying to deal with the realities of methamphetamine on the streets and in their lives, no one could really explain to me what was going on and why. The end result was the beginning of what would be a 10 year plus long journey to try and understand the methamphetamine problem through as many unique ways that I could come up with, including interviews with people with specialized knowledge, um, the mapping of the clandestine laboratory locations that had been reported to law enforcement agencies across the state, and surveying police departments about the methamphetamine problem and how it had evolved and changed following the passage of Oklahoma House Bill 2176.